These are the wonderful hot dinner rolls that I am going to show you how to make. They're very, very hot and they're easy to make and they are all oh so delicious. So these are the things that you will need to make these wonderful dinner rolls. These are the things that you will need to make the homemade dinner rolls. So the first thing you will need here, we have two and a half cups of flour. Here you have one and one teaspoon of, of sugar. You have one teaspoon of salt. You have four tablespoons of uh, butter. And here you have one tablespoon of dry active yeast. Then we're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we will use also a half a teaspoon of butter extract. You will need one cup of milk and you will need one egg. These are the things that you will need to make the homemade dinner rolls. Let's get started. All right, what you want to do is the first thing you want to do, you want to take your yeast and you want to put it in your room temperature or warm milk, but do not make the milk real hot because it will kill the yeast. So you put that in there. You're going to get that a good mix. Mix that up real, real good. Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your uh, sugar and you're going to put your sugar over in here. And you get that a real good mix. Then we're going to set that aside for a second. Then you're going to take your flour and you're going to put it in your mixing container. Then you will add your salt. Take your salt and you're going to put it over in there also. Get that a good mix around. And then the next thing after that, what you're going to do is you're going to take your butter and you're going to put that over in there. Then we're going to give this a good mix. So mix that up. Then the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your you're gonna take your yeast and milk, and what you're gonna do to it, you're gonna add a half a teaspoon of the butter extract. Half a teaspoon of the butter extract. See, it's the butter extract. Half a teaspoon of butter extract. Then we're going to use a teaspoon of the vanilla. To a good vanilla. These are the best dinner rolls. So you put that in there. You want to give that a good mix. Real good mix. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to put your egg in there. So, scramble that a little bit. Now pour your egg in. Alright, then what you do now is you cut your mixer on and you start making the dough. Sides, make sure you get everything real incorporated.
Now you put a little flour down on your surface. You take your bowl and what you do is you take some butter and you go around and uh, you put it in your bowl. This will help the flour, help your uh, dough keep from sticking. We're going to need the dough a little bit. See, it's kind of like tacky. Flour, if you like. I'm using parchment paper so I won't have to uh, have a big messy cleanup. So what you do is, you know, and the dough is like light and fluffy. You can use all purpose flour or you can use bread flour. I'm using all purpose flour. Okay. Now the, uh, the dough is kneaded. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this here. And we're going to cover it and let it sit for, we're going to cover it and we're going to let it sit for about uh, an hour and a half. You can put it aside, cover it, and let it sit for an hour and a half. And we'll come back and I'll show you guys what to do next. Our dough has risen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our pan and we're going to take some butter. We're going to go around and we're going to put it in the pan. You want to use butter because butter keeps the dough soft. Yeah, get that a good rolling. Now we're going to sit this to the side. Put a little flour on your surface. Take the dough, drop it, and we'll need the dough a little bit more. Yes, a little bit more. All right, guys, it's time to make these wonderful, wonderful little uh, dinner rolls. So what you do is you take some and you just cut it in half and you uh, roll a ball and tuck it under and put the tucked under side down and the smooth side up. Just knead and roll the dough and keep tucking it in over and over. Just keep tucking it in over and over and put the... Uh, Tuck the inside, face it down in your pan. And what you want to do, you want to space them a little bit apart. So, because they're going to rise again after we get through um, rolling up our dough balls, we're going to let them rise. We're going to let them rise for a second time, anywhere from thir 35 to uh, 45 minutes. They're uh, double in size. And then we're going to get ready and put them in the oven. After you get them in your pan, what you want to do is go ahead and cover them with some plastic and uh, this will just help them keep them warm and uh, help the dough rise a little bit faster if you cover it with plastic. You don't necessarily have to. You can leave it uh, your rolls uncovered in a warm location and they'll rise on its own anyway. So this is what you do for the dinner rolls. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put this aside and let it rise. I'm going to go and get another pan. I do have some uh, rolls left. And cover it with something dark. Uh, if you do wrap it in uh, plastic, this will help keep the uh, rolls warm and help the uh, yeast in the dough rise a little bit faster. These are the extra rolls that I had. These are delicious dinner rolls. I don't know what you're going to serve it with, but I'm going to serve it with some turkey and gravy.
All right, everybody, our rolls have risen. They have risen to a very, very nice size. These were the extra ones that I had. I have 18 rolls. So we have let them we have let them double in size. So I am going to stick it in a um bake it at 375 degrees for about 23 to 25 minutes. But after 20 minutes, check your rolls to see if they're done. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put them in a 375 degree oven. Fresh out of the oven. See these wonderful, wonderful rolls. So what you want to do is, when they come out of the oven, you want to take you some butter. And you want to put your butter all on your rolls. Butter your rolls up. Do them while they're hot so the bread will be soft and moist. I would like to conclude this video with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for being the supreme being that you are. Thank you for giving us, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is so merciful, loving, and kind. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. And we thank you and we pray for all leaders of this country. And we pray for all the leaders of the world that we may have peace. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.